Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and in this odd mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Instantiate to create some unique and often amusing effects in Unity. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial I have on my channel, and with that in mind, let's do some weirdness. So, I have a scene set up here, it's very, very crude, just some really awful looking volcano thing, and just... I've spent about 20 seconds messing around with a terrain and adding a couple of textures. So the idea of what I want to show you in this bizarre video is how you can use um, Instantiate to create multiple, 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 multiple objects to create something weird. Now, the idea of what I'm going to do is I'm going to spurt a load of rocks out of this crude volcano. Now, it's not probably the best way to do some things in Unity, but sometimes just comical effects can occur by doing random things. And I encourage you to always play around with some of the things that I've taught you to see what kind of bizarre effects you can come up with. So this was something I kind of came across um, a long time ago, but I kind of recently played around a little bit with rocks in something I was developing. So uh, I made a mistake, as it turns out, in the code and ended up with this crazy uh, thing that we're going to see now. So. What we've got, I say, is this scene and a rock which is just placed in the middle of uh, this crude volcano here. And it's just a point light inside there to give it a bit of light, just you know, for a bit of extra effect uh, with a bit of processing on top. So to do this, we're gonna create a C-sharp script. So right click, create C-sharp, and we'll call this uh, inst effect. It doesn't really matter what the script is called. Uh, also worth noting as well that the rock has a rigid body and a box collider attached to it as well. That's kind of important with the effect that we're going for here. So let's open up that inst effect uh, script. And what we need to do is we need to declare two variables. We can get rid of void update because we do not need it. And the first variable is going to be the rock itself. So public game object the rock semicolon and the next one is going to be a count of how many rocks we've generated so public int and we'll call this uh, rock count semicolon so in void start what we need to do is reference a coroutine that we haven't written yet but we're going to in a moment so start coroutine and in brackets i'm just going to call this start sec obviously seq short for sequence again it doesn't really matter what the coroutine is called you can call it anything on earth if you want and what we need to do here is i enumerator and call it the coroutine that you've just named there so start sec open close bracket open curly bracket and we need to have while our count is less than however many we want to generate we instantiate the object. So while and in brackets rock count is less than let's say 100 open curly bracket and now this is what we do while a rock count is less than 100. First we instantiate the object so instantiate open bracket then the rock obviously not Dwayne Johnson because he's not in this scene and then the position so new vector 3 now put in the rock position as it stands now so in this case it's going to be 259 36 and 398 again that will all be dependent on your actual scene so it was 259 36 and 398 close bracket and comma and then quaternion.identity. So now this allows us to actually place, if I actually spell it right, identity. So this allows us to place that object in that position. No problems. At this point, we have to wait. So yield, return, new, wait for seconds. And in brackets, let's have 0.5. So every half a second, we would generate that particular object. 
and then also add one to the count. So rock count plus equals one semicolon. Uh, let's put the F after that because it's a decimal float and save. And then let's head back into Unity. So I'm going to attach this script to uh, an empty game object. So let's go to game object, create empty, and then let's add that instant effect onto there and then declare our rock by dragging and dropping. So if we press play now, nothing spectacular is going to happen. You won't see anything, but you can see duplicates happening here and you can see, oh, a rock got flung out then. If we go back to our scene view, we can see what's kind of happening inside. The rocks are all generating and as more and more generate, they've got nowhere to go but up. So they kind of fling out. Now, if you did this a little bit slower, the chances of them flinging out the top of the volcano would become lower and lower. So it's all based on the wait time. So if I increase this to 0.99, for example, save, head back to Unity. I don't think we're really going to see a whole lot happen with the camera angle that it's currently at. We may see a rock appear here any moment. No. Oh, there we go. So that's about all it's going to do. Now, hopefully the eagle-eyed viewers of you have probably spotted. Oh, there goes one. There's two. The eagle-eyed viewers of you have probably spotted that if we decrease this number, it's going to go a little bit haywire. Now, as I said, I did make a mistake on something I was doing a while ago, which is how I discovered this. It made me, well, it made me smirk. Um, so I had it as 0 0.01. And due to this, it will generate one every hundredth of a second. So in the space of one second, a hundred of those rocks are going to generate at that space. Obviously, they have nowhere to go. So you end up with that happening. Now, imagine if you set that to, let's say, 5,000. Also, to point something out here, if you let this run its whole course, you would have more than 5,000 objects in your scene at this point. If you have a decent computer, you won't encounter any kind of slowdown at all. But you can see what's happening here, this weird kind of mad effect. But you can see it kind of glitching through the side of this terrain as well, because it literally has nowhere else to go. It's being forced by the other rocks into all kinds of different places. And that's just a weird, bizarre effect that I came across. Obviously, you could go one step further with all this and just, you know, see what happens if you generate the rocks randomly in different positions or anything like that. I say it's not necessarily something that you could use, but I just thought it'd be handy to kind of show you creating different effects using different ways. Now, this is probably not the best way to actually do it. In fact, I know this isn't the best way to do it. But it is amusing the first time you accidentally do it. You can see we've generated two and a half thousand now and we're still going quite nicely. So, guys, I hope that kind of gives you some kind of inspiration for something. I just thought it was kind of amusing. So, yeah. Uh, please, guys, check out my channel for more uh, videos and more amusing things, I guess, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching.